In this video, we'll talk about epithelial to mesenchymal transition. Epithelial to mesenchymal transition or EMT is a process by which epithelial cell lose their polarity, cell cell adhesion and gain migratory and invasive properties and become mesenchymal. So in this example, you can see the yellow cells are epithelial which transit into the blue mesenchymal cell. They dissociate from the basement membrane and now they can migrate in many regions. So this particular molecular program is known as EMT or epithelial to mesenchymal transition. It's a precisely regulated molecular process. Let's try to understand. So any epithelial cell would be attached to each other with specific cell junctions. It could be adherence junction, tight junctions, etc. Also, it would be attached to a basement membrane with the help of hemidesmosomes. Epithelial cells would have a typical epicobasal polarity. That means it has one apical side and another basal side which are molecularly distinct. Now in case of EMT or epithelial to mesenchymal transition, what happens is the epithelial characters goes down. So there is a loss of cell adhesion or epicobasal polarity. Also, there are changes in the extracellular matrix and generally the epithelial cells are non-migratory which eventually becomes migratory when they, are when they are becoming mesenchymal cells. Mesenchymal cells show loss of adhesions, loss of polarity and they show gain of invasiveness or they are enhanced in terms of migratory capacity. There are specific molecular features which give us an idea about a loss of epithelial character and gain of mesenchymal character. So E. cadherin loss is characteristic uh, for epithelial to mesenchymal transition. So one of the key changes that happen is loss of E. cadherin and upregulation of N. cadherin. Also cytokeratin is lost but there is upregulation of factors like snail, sludge, etc. There is always breakage of these kind of lamin 1 or basal lamina markers and there are <coughs> changes in the actin cytoskeleton. So let's try to understand this in a bit more details. This kind of EMT transition can happen during development and it happens in our uh, neural tube. So in the neural tube, after the neural tube is closed, there are certain cells known as neural crest cells which now undergoes EMT and migrate out. There are also uh, this kind of phenomena reported in uh, layer formation such as mesoderm formation requires this kind of EMT type of transition. Also in biological processes like wound healing requires EMT molecular programs. Now apart from biological processes, EMT can also underlie uh, the metastasis of cancer. So let's say you have a tumor in your hand and then due to EMT, many tumor can get into new places in the body and see the new tumor in that location. And this is happening via the epithelial to mesenchymal transition where the cells are becoming more invasive and migratory. Now let's see what are the factors that triggers this kind of EMT. There are hallmark transcription factors that triggers the EMT response such as ZEB1, TWIST, SNAIL, just to name a few. These are characteristic transcription factors that are upregulated while a cell is undergoing EMT. In experiments where scientists uh, upregulated these transcription factors in epithelial cell, in all of these cases, those cells get transformed into a mesenchymal cell. So what really happens when these transcription factors are upregulated? They modulate adherence junction and tight junction. They can regulate and modulate actins. They can also trigger cytoskeletal rearrangement. And most importantly, these factors lead to production of mat matrix metalloproteinases, which dissolve the extracellular matrix. And it is important for cell to delaminate from the basal lamina and move out. Now, there are specific signaling pathways that can help in these EMT processes. In this video, we are not going to get into details, but let me tell you, there are signaling pathways like wind beta catenin signaling. There are pathways like, uh, which involves receptor tyrosine kinase and PI3AKT. 
There are pathways which involves Jack and STAT. Pathways like TGF beta and notch delta signaling pathway triggers the production of ZEB1 twist and snail. So these are the key factors for the EMT program to start. And these factors are under the control of many signaling pathways. A complex interplay of these signaling pathway determines or governs when and how the EMT would occur. So this is a very short video about EMT. In a later video, we'll talk about the details. I hope this was useful and informative. If you like this video, give it a quick thumbs up. You can get more notes and flashcards in my Facebook page and Instagram page. You can support my channel via Super Thanks. See you in next video.